Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at the brand new update and brand new release of the character creator 3.3. This is by far one of the, you know, the most updated character creator tool I've seen in a very long time. And this comes with a truckload of things. First of all, we get to see that it comes with a character creator base plus, which has been teased and also promised to us by the guys at Relution. And then for the topology and also the mesh enhancements, we can see that we have a very nice topology right here. And also the edge flow is perfect. So for these parts, you would also notice that for the parts of the body that this has been enhanced as well. You'd also notice for the eye, we now have the tear line and also the occlusion mesh structure of course we've talked about all of these features and things that are supposed to come and we've also talked about the uv optimization just in case you want to move these and you want to set up things for udim texturing for either zbrush substance painter mari and so on and so forth that right now you can actually get these things out of character creator fully optimized as all you need to do is just throw it over to you know whatever texturing app you want and get things up and running other cool things that you can also find here is they have also gone ahead to optimize how details are applied so we've talked about detailing and also all this stuff previously and it's very interesting to see that you can tell that the uv map for this character creator base plus and also the uv map for the character creator base are totally totally different if you scroll all the way down you would also notice that there are certain improvements which we're going to talk about soon that consist of skin and makeup and Speaking about the skin and makeup, we did talk about the teaser that was released some time ago about the skin generator that is presumably supposed to come to character creator 3. And today we are having that and of course we're going to talk about these things. And the reason why you can get this, you know, production quality kind of stuff right here is because the guys from Relution are partnering alongside with the guys from Texturing XYZ and also Substance to get us all of these beautiful looking textures and all of this beautiful looking you know stuff directly for our model so we character creator 3.3 open right here you would notice that we have this lovely looking model right here first things you would definitely notice is this has an improved looking shader the shader for the face or for the model has actually been improved and you can actually see there's a whole lot of sss traveling here and there and also if we scroll right in you can see that tier line feature that was added and you can also tell that there are more updates you know to the pores or you know to the skin texture as you can see all of these things right here so you'll notice right out of the gate that this is the first thing that will catch your eye something else that is going to catch your eye which is for sure something to keep an eye for is right here we also have a skin tab and a makeup tab if you look directly here where we have the modify we now have an appearance tab so these tabs are the tabs that would help you layer your skin and you know play with the skin generators so if we simply explore this by clicking on the first one you would notice that once we do that we have a set of things if we go over to full skin you can see we have different skins go over to base skins we have different skins and if we go down to acquired we can simply get some dirt we can get some scars we can get some you know liquid we can get some skills if we go over to body we can get some of the beards and all of these things here now this might not make sense now the reason why it doesn't make sense is because we haven't explored what this actually or how you can apply this so how you can apply this is simple if you go over to the modify click right here where you have the appearance and go over to the skin section once this is active relution character creator would go through and strip your character of all of its accessories because we want to actually focus and work on the skin alone the same thing goes for the makeup but let's get to the skin first before we actually attend to the makeup so once we click on activate and get the editor activated you would notice we have one two three four five six different layers now these are the layers that you can apply your skin generator effect on so a very good example is if i zoom right in here you would notice this is the base layer and if i go over to the lip section i can choose to play with the opacity of the lip depending on what i want so if i want this you know effect for the lip to be very visible i can you know 
turn the opacity or turn the opacity all the way up and if i scroll all the way down i can also choose to make some changes like for example if i don't want the normals to be so much i can reduce the strength of the normal and i can also scroll all the way down to a point like this where we have the roughness if i want to make the lips a bit more shiny i can dial the roughness just a little bit down and you can see that right here this is non-destructive because you can simply you know turn this off to see what you have and turn it back on to see what you know updates that you've implemented the same thing goes for the pause that we have for the nose if we want to get some more you know details let's say you need some details for the nose you can also do that right here you have about three different patterns that you can choose from i'm simply going to choose the third pattern which is going to be this one and if i scroll all the way down i can also increase the skill and you can see that skill happening right there the same thing happens for the tile you can choose to tile this you can also choose to play with the opacity depending on how visible you want this to be so if you want this to be extremely extremely visible if you go all the way down to where you have your normals you can also play with the normal strength just to get this thing and you can choose to invert this and also revert it to get your normals so depending on what you want to get this makes sense so you can go to this section where you have your skin and play with all of the skin features right here and apply the skin features to get something if i need some freckles on my character all i need to do is just simply double click and this would automatically add an extra level or an extra layer right here which we are going to see as freckles and if i zoom right over to our character we can choose to play with the opacity or you know reduce the opacity and of course we can also play with some of these other features like the scale and get things where we want them to be in the first place so now that we've defined and now that we know how this works how does this work with things like you know for example how does it work with the makeup so how it works with the makeup is also similar and for us to get that we need to switch over to the makeup and within the makeup you'd notice we have different forms of makeup right here we have a full makeup we have a foundation makeup we have you know the eye makeup depending on what you want to get you can also get the lips makeup and so on and so forth so for example let's say we want to throw in some red lipstick onto our model so let's simply double click that to get that red lipstick and this is going to be active within the makeup section since we're not dealing with the skin and we're dealing with the makeup once we double click any of this makeup section our makeup becomes active and it's going to go ahead and load this for us right here so now that we have our red lipstick loaded up you can notice that we have this you know layer here now within this layer we can tone this down just to have a tiny bit of you know the makeup -y thingy that we want not to have exactly the full makeup so we can just tone this down just a little bit and of course we can simply go through and change several parts of our model and change several parts of our object as we proceed so another thing to also keep in mind is once you're doing this right here you would notice that you can change if you want to work with the eyelashes you can switch to the eyelashes if you want to work on different channels of your model you can also switch to different channels of your model if you also want to work you know you want to play with the blending mode you want to play with the texture size you can actually export all the way from 256 all the way to 4k so depending on what you want to do once you make your change all you need to do is hit on update and this would simply go through and update that so let's take a look at some full makeup and see what and what we can do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply hover across here where we have a tribal makeup and let's double click that to see what we can get as this is going to create a brand new layer and apply that makeup directly on our model so with this here you can also notice that we have you know various kind of paints which we can tone up tone down depending on how you know grungy or how light you want your stuff to be and you can literally go across all of this parts which are corresponding to what you have right here and choose what you want so depending on what you want depending on what you want to you know give your character you can simply switch these things and of course if you don't want certain parts you can also go in here and also make them invisible and they would not be visible within the viewport so depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day you can go through make some changes and for here let's say we want to add some scars let's see if we can get some cool scars let's go over to acquired yeah so let's see if we can throw in some cool scars right here i think this might be cool 
yeah maybe we should try this so you can throw in some cool scars and you know you can have those things applied onto your model and totally fine totally dependent on what you want to achieve as this is not going to stop you from adding other things onto your model if you're trying to add multiple stuff this is going to pop up to ask you if you want to replace or add so since we just want to add and you know layer this on top we're simply going to double click and have that layered directly on top of the previous scar that we want so with all of this here it is even way easier than ever for you to just simply start making changes and start making some very informed decisions about how you would like your model to be so if you want to make changes to the nails let's take a look at that you can also make those changes so i can go over to the nail section right here click on the base nail and of course you can also you know play with the nails that you have right here so you can click on the base nail and you can switch this to select the kind of body type that you want so if we go all the way down we can choose to play with the strength of the normal so you can see that right there let's also rotate this and we can also make this a bit brighter less brighter and you know we can make any kind of change that we want right here or maybe you can just go ahead and double click the manicure thingy and get that manicure applied directly onto your model this way so how you can go back is very simple so all you need to do is just deactivate the skin editor and you would now notice that you have all of your stuff here and your characters you know clothing is also here for the substance stuff once you go over to outfit and you start making changes to your character's outfit and you know by clicking on activate appearance editor you can start using the substance feature that you have right here to start making those changes directly onto your model so it's very interesting to see that the guys at Relution actually kept to their promise as this by default is no way a render this is directly on your viewport and you can see it has that visual fidelity once you're looking at it and you know if you want to rig this of course you can simply use these tools that the guys at Relution has provided and of course you can use them to rig this exporting this is also very simple as once you choose to export you can export every single thing that you want and this is going to also export the textures alongside for you so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section i'm very excited about this tool some time ago we were not able to use a click and drag stuff to create realistic looking characters but right now it's very interesting to see that we have all of these features and we can easily go right there and dial things down if you want to get the premium version pay and get the premium version or you can stick with the very basic version that comes with the character creator 3.3 tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.